Yo, what's good? It's your boy DJ Fat Mac back with you with another wedding DJ tip. So today we're talking more about, as you can see, the professionalism and the fashion of everything when it comes to a perfect wedding day party and what your DJ and also anybody in your staff who you hire should be dressed like. Should they be dressed kind of fly or dressed like this? Oh my God. So make sure you want to like down below so we can talk more about how exactly somebody, one of your vendors should be dressing for your perfect wedding day party. Let's go. Yo, it's your boy DJ Fat Mac. Welcome to the channel. If this is your very first time, welcome to the party. All right. Thank you for tuning back in with us for another wedding DJ tip every single week. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe if this is your very first time. And plus, you want to hit that notification bell so you can be always be notified of any new hot fire that's dropping with Fat Mix Productions and DJ Fat Mac. So, as you can see, I'm kind of dressed differently. I usually have the fly swag t-shirts on. But today, we're talking about the fashion tips, some do's and some don'ts when it comes to wedding DJ professionalism, okay? One of the very first things you do, even as a wedding DJ, it all goes into how everything is set up in your atmosphere and how you present yourself as, as a professional, okay? So even when you first walking into the venue a few hours early, mind you, at least two to three hours early to set up for everything, I think you still should be dressed a certain type of way. What do I mean by that? Maybe if have a if you're not going to wear your clothes because you don't want it to get all sweaty, you don't want to get it messed up because you're setting up. So I get that, but I still think you should. Um, if it's the winter or fall or whatever the case may be, let's say if it's fall, fall or spring, at least some decent pair of jeans. Okay. Um, I would say if nothing else, at least some type of, uh, whether it's a, a long sleeve button up that you're not going to wear for the, the party and the ceremony as your DJ and things like that, maybe a nice polo shirt. Or something like that or if you're going to wear like a hoodie because it's kind of cold outside make sure it's nothing graphic on it that that has somebody drinking some beer or somebody dancing with some girls or some graphic language that can be looked at a different type of way if you're going to have your branding maybe your logo or something like that that might i think that'll be cool that'll be totally fine in my opinion or even a t-shirt with your logo and your branding on it, that is totally fine as you're setting up for um, the wedding and everything like that. Send up your speakers, the lights, so forth, and blah, 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 and all that great stuff. So very first coming in, that's the professionalism you should be taking. So when you come in and you introduce yourself to the venue manager, but mind you, that's something you should have already done. Check out the card above. And we talked about that on about when you talk to the venue managers and everybody who's over the venue that so they should already know you in the very first place so number two is after you finish setting up how should you dress how should you dress so mind you with fat mix productions dj fat mac this is my signature look the untied bow tie me personally I just like to take it to another level. So when I'm having my consultation with my clients and they decide to book Fat Mix Productions and DJ Fat Mac, I always ask them exactly what is the decor? What's the palette? What's going to be the colors and things like that? What's going to be your color palette? Because I want to know not only for my lighting purposes, but also I try to dress up 
as everybody else. Like I belong to this event. So even if you don't do it that way, so say for instance, your colors may be, let's say um, some fall colors, maybe some orange, maybe some purple in there or whatever color, lavender, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We might have some blue, whatever. I'm gonna pick something out of that that I know I already have so I can present myself accordingly. Now, I'm not saying that's for everybody. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that's for everybody. If nothing else, go with the classic black. Go with the classic just all black or black and white, whatever the case may be. You want to somewhat blend in. You want to somewhat blend in. So go with all black. I noticed some of my professional wedding vendors, like far as mostly photographers and also uh, uh, wedding planners, they usually come in all black also, especially for my wedding planners and, their, and an event staff that's there. They're usually going to have it in all black. So it's kind of one of them things because... You want to be able to people to pick out like, oh, okay, cool. I know that's somebody I could potentially ask. Can I ask um, him or her where's the restroom at and things like that? Because that's some formalities that you should know also as a wedding DJ, as a professional wedding DJ. You should know everything about where the bathrooms are at. You should know where a great place to, to so for somebody to go out and smoke. Because as a professional, as the host of the evening, Somebody may ask you those things, and the last thing you want to say is, oh, yeah. It's like, who is this guy? He don't know what he's, he don't know what's going on. Dang, come on now. You're supposed to be the host and the DJ. You should know what's going on, B. I'm just saying. But getting back. So once again, talking about what you should be wearing. So when you're dressing in, whether it's all black or you're trying to dress like I do, that's going to match the decor that's going to match the color palette of the things like that it's always should be professional i don't i don't really think you should be wearing i'm going to say it t-shirts once you set up and you're ready to get the party started and the ceremony starts or the cocktail hour starts or the reception whatever you're doing i don't think a t-shirt is appropriate i don't think a hoodie is appropriate I don't think jeans are appropriate. Sweat's not appropriate. You got to think about it. Everybody is here dressed up and they look a certain type of way. You have the groomsmen that's in their tux. You got the bridesmaids that's in these dresses. You have the guests that came suited and booted and things like that to ready to show out. And then they look up at a DJ who has a t-shirt on. Or a DJ has a hoodie on. How professional is that? They know set the everything else been set to stay. They spend money on this beautiful venue, the decor, and then a DJ walks in with some jeans and a hoodie on and a baseball hat. Come on, we have to do better. If we're gonna, as a community, as a wedding vendor community, if we're gonna continue to rise above everybody, especially here in the Midwest. If we want to continue to rise above everybody and get to that top tier, one of the biggest things you have to do is be a professionalist, be professional from A to Z. We have to keep doing that. And one of the things is yes, is your dress code. It's very important, ladies and gentlemen, very important, okay? So even when it comes to the ladies, you know, put on a dress or something that's going to be very classy. I'm not saying put on that, that short cocktail dress, ladies. Might not be that, that appropriate. Even if you got a dope pantsuit, go for it. You know, I don't want to say you got to do anything that's like kind of back in the day where there, somebody's going to take a ruler <laughs> and, and find out how far it is from, you know, from your knees and stuff like that. But at the same time, ladies, dress appropriately. You know, cover up. You know, I'm just saying it's all about being professional. It's not a, you know, you have to always think about that. You may have to cover up some things that you may have, ladies. Some show. I'm going to say some shoulders to be appropriate with you. We're going to cover up the shoulders or something. But you get my drift. You know, I don't, don't want to have to go there and I say to all that good stuff. But that's very appropriate, ladies. Um, and gentlemen, most definitely... Keep it classy. Ladies, keep it classy.
keep it professionalism. I, I know I keep saying it, but I can't address it, you know, any any better than that. There's been times where I came, you know, into weddings, uh, after I finished set up, get dressed, and it's like, oh wow. Uh yeah, that's a different person than expect that. Because they're probably some people probably been used to seeing DJs dress any type of way. And things like that. So if I'm telling you, um, if a DJ is charging you, um, which is the average of maybe about fifteen hundred, he better show up like fifteen hundred, like he's like he's ready to do fifteen hundred dollar type of wedding at the end of the day. Now that's a whole nother story when we talk about pricing. But if your DJ charges you, you know, two three hundred dollars for your wedding, you get what you get. So you might get a hoodie, you might get a t-shirt and jeans, faded jeans or whatever the case may be, you beat up shoes. You might get that because that's all you budgeted for. So you budgeted for a backyard DJ to do your wedding. I'm just saying. Think about it. That goes a long way. So if you know you just dropped just only a, a, a little bit of cash, two, three, four hundred dollars, five, whatever the case may be, know that they could potentially come dressed any type of way. I'm just saying, just think about it. And everybody has to look at this person, whether you got them on stage, whether they got them in a the corner, if they make it an if they make any type of announcement, the attention is going to go to them at some point in time. As a DJ at a wedding, you cannot be indiscreet. You can't, you, it's, it's no possible way. You know, even if you got a host, somebody still's going to look up to see where the DJ is. Even if they playing great music, they're like, oh man, who the DJ? But I couldn't hire him because he can't dress like that at my, my wedding. Mine's are strictly formal and after five. And he just proved to me that he doesn't have that because he had his hoodie on. So it's just a professional wedding tip. That's all it is. So I hope you enjoyed today's video all about the fashion. Once again, we always got more wedding DJ tips that we join to drop every single week. We're dropping a hot fire every single week. So make sure you like, you comment down below. Comment down below on some things that you've seen DJs or other wedding professionals wear and you like, wow, they wore that at a wedding. Okay, I wouldn't have done that, but so be it. Or even comment down below once again or more wedding DJ tips videos that you want us to talk about and address. And we can definitely drop those fire for you, right? Also, make sure you subscribe. This is your very first time. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can always be notified of when new videos drop, okay? So, until next time, keep the record spinning. And always remember, music is life, life is music. It's your boy, DJ Fat Mac. Peace.